key inspiration behind this is that this is the first time surfing is admitted in the Olympics. And since uh, we cannot go to the Olympics because of COVID, I thought, well, if we can't go to the Olympics, maybe we should bring the Olympics here. Especially because Duke Hanamoku was the, the one that had the Olympic dream first. I want people to be happy about the colors. You know, it's like uh, colors always change your moods. And the main thing that I want is like people to understand that there is a reason that surfing is in the Olympics. There is a reason for that. And we cannot forget our history. We cannot forget where things started. It's not just about riding four waves to the beach. It's, it's more than that. I've been painting surfboards for professional surfers and, uh, and well, stock boards, you know, it's like uh, for surf shops before, but the surfboard as an art form, it's already something that's, that's incredible. You know, it's, it's three-dimensional. Um, and the surfboard, it, it ties in to, to everything. It, it takes you to the water, it takes you to the ocean. And that's what I think the, the surfboard fits my artwork. And this, particularly with the Olympics you know, going on, having the surfboards made for this it fits right in. It's just fantastic. It really is. I, I don't think I've ever seen artwork ever on any surfboards ever as beautiful as this artwork. Yeah, we are a blessed people. Eduardo Bolioli, I, I think, did a wonderful job depicting, you know, Uncle Duke, and to mention of how he has you know, the one that kind of either from the top sprouted or from the bottom sprouted others to be able to be part of um, the surfing uh, realm. Uncle Duke, he's gone physically, but spiritually, I think he continues to live and enlighten and, um, and get others enthusiastic to surfing and the desire to be the best in your craft. So I think he would be just overjoyed and, and happy to see uh, this happen. It was an extremely special. Uh, it's having recognition from somebody that's been so close to, to Kahanamoku and part of the family and having these people you know, tell me all these things and on top of that blessing my work, it's made me feel Hawaiian. That's the highest grade of human being you can be, you know, because uh, Aloha is everything. Yeah, so having his blessing is definitely getting a gold medal. <laughs> it's equivalent to that for me. <laughs>